Did you know that eating this along with oysters could lead to cancer and dementia? Known as the milk of the sea, oysters are a treasure trove of nutrients. There are foods that pair best with oysters and those that are a bad match. Even healthy oysters need to be eaten correctly to benefit the body. Eating them with harmful foods can damage your health instead. So, we have prepared information for you. We will share three of the worst food pairings with oysters for cancer and dementia prevention, and three of the best pairings to extend your lifespan healthily. As the cold winter approaches, one seafood comes to mind first, oysters, heralded as the milk of the sea and nutritionally perfect among seafood. Plump and fresh, oysters are enjoyed dipped in soy sauce or cooked in nutritious stone pot rice or hot oyster soup, bringing energy during winter. Oysters, rich in taurine for fatigue recovery and zinc beneficial for men, are said to have been a favorite of the infamous Casanova. However, did you know that even these healthy oysters can be harmful when eaten with certain foods? However, did you know that there are foods that can harm your health when eaten with such beneficial oysters? We will now discuss three worst and three best food pairings with oysters for cancer and dementia prevention and overall health. First, it's vital to be cautious about the worst pairings due to the high risk of diseases. Oysters are rich in various nutrients, especially zinc. Many people nowadays consume protein-rich foods and powders for health, but did you know that it's pointless without zinc? Zinc fundamentally helps in protein synthesis in our body. So, without it, all the consumed protein is just excreted out. That's why it's crucial to eat oysters, rich in zinc. Oysters are not only rich in proteins that inhibit aging and boost immunity but also in zinc, which enhances the secretion of male hormones like testosterone. This is why Casanova favored oysters, and they are known to be beneficial for men. Moreover, oysters are essential for those with diabetes or needing blood sugar control, as zinc stimulates insulin secretion. Here, focus on this point, some people eat raw oysters to absorb all the good zinc. But oysters, being high in moisture, can quickly spoil and are prone to bacterial growth, posing a high risk of norovirus infection. While we might think that the risk of food poisoning decreases in colder weather, viral food poisoning like norovirus actually becomes more aggressive. Consuming raw oysters, especially, can lead to severe intestinal infections and, in immunocompromised individuals, dehydration risks. Hence, you must be cautious about eating raw oysters unless they are incredibly fresh. It's a misconception that soaking them in salt water after refrigeration makes them safe. Norovirus can survive in cold temperatures and remain viable for up to 8 weeks in a dry state and 4 weeks at 20 degrees Celsius. So, you must not let your guard down. Do you always have to worry when eating oysters? No, there's a way. Heating them above 100 degrees Celsius for more than a minute can effectively kill this potent virus. Therefore, it's crucial to eat oysters only after cooking to destroy the virus. Now, the best food pairings with oysters include acidic foods like lemon and dipping sauces. When eating oysters, it's common to dip them in sauces or squeeze lemon over them, and adding a bit of vinegar to oyster soup is also a good idea. As mentioned earlier, oysters have a high moisture content and can spoil easily. Therefore, eating them with acidic foods like sauces, vinegar, or lemon can kill any potential bacteria, ensuring safe consumption. Moreover, oysters are not only rich in zinc but also in taurine, which aids in energy and vitality. In fact, oysters contain three times more taurine than the famous squid. Taurine improves eyesight and strengthens blood vessels, aiding in blood circulation. 
Hence, it's essential for cardiovascular disease prevention and fatigue recovery. Furthermore, taurine, a type of protein, is excellent for brain health. It activates the brain's nerve cells responsible for cognitive functions and regulates beta amyloid, a primary cause of Alzheimer's and dementia. Thus, it's a top choice for brain activation and dementia prevention. However, when combined with acidic foods like lemon and vinegar, the absorption rate of these beneficial nutrients from oysters increases, creating a synergistic effect. So, from now on, always pair oysters with acidic foods for safer and healthier consumption. Remember, taurine is heat-resistant, so cooking doesn't diminish its benefits, so don't worry about that. Secondly, the worst food pairing with oysters is tannin-rich foods. Examples include persimmons, black tea, green tea, and wine. Eating these with oysters prevents the absorption of the abundant iron in oysters. The reason is that the iron in oysters binds with tannins and gets excreted out. Those who often experience dizziness and need to maintain healthy blood vessels and circulation should especially ensure adequate iron intake. While iron supplements can cause digestive issues and have low absorption rates, oysters are not only rich in iron but also in copper, which helps absorb this iron. Thus, for vascular health and antioxidant benefits, it's essential to include oysters in your diet. Many people drink tannin-rich, astringent wines and green tea to remove the fishy taste of seafood, but this prevents the absorption of beneficial nutrients from oysters. Therefore, it's crucial to avoid such combinations in the future. Now, the best food pairing with oysters is milk. Oysters are nicknamed the milk of the sea. But do you know why? It's because of the abundant calcium and phosphorus in oysters. Surprisingly, oysters contain more calcium than milk, known as the epitome of calcium. Not only that, but oysters also contain phosphorus, which synergizes with calcium. This makes oysters a perfect food, worthy of the nickname milk of the sea. Rich in protein, oysters enhance muscle strength and bone density, making them essential for growing children and the health of middle-aged and older individuals. However, milk, despite being rich in essential amino acids, lacks one thing, zinc. Eating zinc-rich oysters with milk perfectly complements the nutrients lacking in milk. Some recommended recipes include gratin with oysters and milk or soaking oysters in milk before cooking to remove the fishy taste and excess saltiness of seafood. Lastly, the third worst pairing with oysters is oyster pancakes and fried oysters. While it's important to cook oysters, frying them in oil, as in pancakes and deep frying, is not recommended. The saturated fatty acids in the oil increase cholesterol levels. It's well known that fried foods are unhealthy, but why is it especially bad with oysters? It's because frying nullifies the health benefits of oysters. Oysters help lower cholesterol and promote fat metabolism. However, eating them fried increases the cholesterol level reduced by the oysters, making it pointless. Plus, Consuming the amount of oil equivalent to the moisture content in oysters induces chronic inflammation. To fully benefit from oysters' potential in managing hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, and diabetes, it's crucial to avoid cooking methods that use excessive oil, like frying. Lastly, the best food pairing with oysters is Chinese chives. Oysters are typically cold-natured food which can cause digestive issues for many. The best way to counteract this drawback of oysters is to eat them with Chinese chives. Chinese chives are warm-natured vegetables, perfectly balancing the cold nature of oysters. Not only is the taste combination excellent, but it also aids digestion. Additionally, Chinese chives are alkaline foods, rich in vitamins, calcium, and iron, 
making them an excellent vegetable for the liver. The synergistic effect when eaten with oysters is tremendous. It not only maximizes the blood cleansing and vitality boosting effects of oysters but also replenishes energy and removes waste from the liver. Earlier, we mentioned that adding a bit of vinegar when eating oysters is beneficial. Chinese chives pair excellently with vinegar. Therefore, adding a bit of vinegar to a hot oyster soup with Chinese chives or making a vinegar seasoned Chinese chive and oyster kimchi can maximize the benefits of both oysters and Chinese chives. So far, we have discussed three worst and three best food pairings with oysters. Let's summarize. Firstly, instead of eating oysters raw, Cook them in boiling water for at least a minute and pair them with acidic foods like lemon or vinegar. Also, avoid tannin-rich foods and pair oysters with milk. Lastly, instead of oily oyster pancakes and fried oysters, eat them with Chinese chives to enjoy incredible health benefits. How about that? By cooking and pairing oysters with the right foods, you can protect your health. If the insights shared today resonated with you, I'd greatly appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to activate all notifications. This ensures you won't miss out on any future nuggets of health wisdom. Your support helps me continue my mission of spreading invaluable health and nutrition knowledge. Thank you immensely for tuning in. Remember, in every aspect of life, May you be blessed with robust health, abundant prosperity, and boundless joy. Until next time.